So Falcor 2's story so far has been that Shipyard to Sea series, right? Looking at the construction of the ship, the promise of what it can bring to the community. But now that, that part of our story is kind of coming to a close. And as we sail off, I'm really looking forward to that next chapter. So we're underway again on Falcor 2 after an extended period of refit uh, over 18 months. And there's been a lot of hard work getting the ship transformed into a scientific research ship. We're all very excited to be finally underway, uh, crossing the Atlantic over to the Caribbean and getting science started. There's still so much to learn about the ocean. There's challenges today, challenges like climate change and resource extraction, and those challenges impact the deep sea. And a lot of the ocean, we don't necessarily know the impacts and we don't know what we might be missing. Falcor 2 will provide us with a greater understanding of the ocean and of what's at stake and aid us in making sure that those things aren't lost. Today is really exciting because we're going to test the underway seawater system for the first time in real action and we can install all our science equipment that measures uh, various parameters. All good, thank you, we can power down. And now today is the day that we're actually going to utilize all the, the equipment and test the data that comes out. So it's a, it's a very exciting moment. It is nice to be at sea again. It's interesting to be at sea again. I think we're all just taking, finding our sea legs. We found it quickly, it's four days in and um, getting used to the noises and the rolls and the moves. But it's nice, it's like this is actually what we do and we've been in the yard for so long. And so it's a strange but really nice feeling to be back at sea. Falcor 2 is building on, I mean, there's a history of ocean exploration. We've always wanted to know what's out there, what's under there, what's on the bottom. I would say that we can't protect something we don't understand. And as much study as has gone on about the oceans, we haven't had the tools until now to really get that full picture and to be able to, to tell the story about why we are connected. With Falcor 2, we can bring the deep sea into people's living rooms. We can bring it into classrooms, auditorium halls. We can bring it right to anyone on Earth. We can go to places we couldn't have with the old vessel, and we can stay out for longer. We can basically map anywhere in the world. You're doing something. This is like our little bit of helping with our planet. So the tools we have here, the platform that we've built, uh, allows us not just to explore the beautiful and strange world of the deep sea, but also to share that with the public, to make it clear that it's not an alien world, but it's ours. It's home.